Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video because I have recently been interviewed to work at Disney World um, for the position of full-time entertainment stage technician. So this is not a video about the college program interview process. Um, I wanted to make this video because when I was researching, looking up questions that they might ask, um, there's a lot of videos all about the college program interview process and it didn't really pertain to the job that I was interviewing for. So I wanted to make this video to help anyone else that will be going for this job or maybe even Disney jobs in particular because it's the same kind of process that you have to go through. So I went onto the Disney Careers website and I saw this job um, posted in May. Um, so I just kind of applied for it, figured why not. I went to school for film um, and it was it's kind of in the same field is what I went to school for. Um, I have no experience with theater or plays but I have learned about like lighting and sound and camera work and they were looking for a bunch of different people to fill all these types of positions. So uh, over a month went by and I had heard nothing from this job. They took the posting down off the site in general so I thought that someone else, like, they've already hired people so whatever but in July, the beginning of July, I got an email telling me to schedule a phone interview. So I was really excited and I did that and I had my phone interview the next week. So for my phone interview, I talked to a general HR person and so I didn't talk to like a stage manager or whoever would I would actually like be working with. This was like the general first phone interview. So I knew that for this job they were going to ask a lot more technical questions to see how much I knew, what, where I kind of was at with how much I knew already and not so much the behavioral type questions which is what they asked a lot of the people doing the college program. So I went and made a list of questions, behavioral questions they could ask me and then I you know, obviously did a lot of studying on lighting and audio and all of that stuff. So for my first phone interview, the only behavioral question that she asked me was why I wanted to work there. So, you know, I just said like that I, I love Disney. I was just there in May on vacation with my sister. Um, I've always wanted to work there and how I went to school for film and wanted to branch out to start to um, ex get experience in different parts of the industry, which would be this for the stage plays. And that was really the only behavioral question she asked. She asked me. She also asked if I had any like visible tattoos. Um, if like I currently live in Massachusetts, so I would have to move down to Florida, and if I was like obviously comfortable with doing that. Um, she asked when I would be available to start, and I said I'd be available to start in August because I have a job now. I have to give them two weeks notice and get everything together up here and find a place to live down there. So I was thinking I would be able to start like f about four weeks after if I got the job offer. She also asked if I had transportation, so if I had my own car. Um, I didn't think that I would, I do have my own car, but I didn't think I would need it down there because I thought there's a lot of buses, but she said that because everything is so spread out that you really need your own car. Another aspect of this job is you have to be a pyrotechnician because not only do you have to work on the stage plays but you have to work on all the fireworks shows too so you have to be certified they have their own certification for pyrotechnician and she asked if I would like be okay with uh, being certified in that and I said yes now for the she moved right on to the technical questions this interview only took about 20 15 20 minutes by the way it wasn't that long but the first question she asked me is what is phantom power and when I was researching jobs uh, questions that they might ask me this was one of them so I had that prepared I knew that one another question she asked is what is a cyclorama and I have heard that word before because I used to be a dance teacher and what that is is the base the big white screen behind you on the stage where they can project like images and lights and color lights on that so that's what that was and I did not know that because as a dance teacher we just call it sick which is CYC so it's just the nickname so I did I had no idea I, I think I just made something up for that one she also asked me what a proscenium arch was um, again didn't know that one I know it now it's like the it's like a picture frame arch right in front of the stage it kind of separates the actors on the stage from the audience I think I said I had no idea what it was but I said it was like the 
the front of the stage or whatever. I don't know. Maybe she gave me half credit for that. Okay, another question she asked me is one I had prepared because someone else on some forum said that they asked them this, but it was um, on a 120 volt electric cable, what do the three colors signify and whatever. So it, I said green, which is the ground wire, white, which is neutral, and black or red, which is the hot conductor. So I think I got that one right. She asked me what stage left and stage right were. Um, 50-50 chance on that, and of course I got that wrong. She asked what stage rails were, and I had no idea what that was either. I said I thought it was something I have to do with the catwalk, but I asked one of my friends who went to school for theater tech, and he said it was stage rails are at the side of the stage where the pulleys are for the curtains, so it has something to do with all those pulleys and levers uh, over the side of the stage. And she also asked me what the wings were, and I obviously like that. That's just the side of the stage where like the actors and crew like wait to go on so I knew that one and the last technical question that she asked me was if you okay it was a really really weird question if you had a camera package and you were in a ballroom and you needed to set it up what would you set up what would you bring or it was very confusing I had no idea what a camera package was I just took it to mean like all of the equipment that you would need to light uh, sound and film someone in a ballroom so I, I try to like ask her like, what she meant but she like just kind of repeated the question like I was like am I filming something in this ballroom like what am I doing in here and she like couldn't tell me so I just said you know like three-point lighting system um, different kinds of mics like shotgun boom lavalier mic to whatever you needed um, depending on what kind of audio you needed to get and then I said like a, just set up a camera and like I don't I bombed that one. I don't know what she was talking about. But anyways, at the end of the interview, <clears throat> it's going to be a long video. Ugh. She said that you, at the end of the interview, she said, okay, we're going to move on to the second round. And we set up an interview for the following week with the stage manager. So the stage manager phone interview, he was a really nice guy. Um, he asked me about myself, what I do now. Um, I told him where I went to school, what I was doing now for my current job. He asked me why I wanted to work at Disney. said the same thing as the last uh, interview. He asked if I was okay with heights, because I would have to be going up on the catwalk, stuff like that. And I said yes. He asked if I had any visible tattoos. I said I don't, I don't have any t tattoos at all, so I said no. He said am I okay with learning about like pyro and being a power technician. And I said yeah, that'd be really awesome actually to learn, I think it would. And one thing he asked is what my strengths were, and I said more because I went to school for film, not so much like being a theater tech, that I could maybe look at things in a different perspective as other people and more of like a, a movie kind of way. So I went with that kind of answer for that question. Then he also asked me some technical questions, and he asked me um, kind of what I would most like to do like lighting audio stage management whatever and i said well i went to school for film and so my strength is like camera work being the camera person but i'm not sure if that was even like if they even had that to offer for the stage text and he said that some um shows like the lights camera action show and mgm they have like a camera person so that's uh, um one thing you can do with that so he asked me a lot more of like camera questions than audio and lighting stuff because i don't really know much about switchboards or soundboards or anything like that so these questions that he asked me he asked me what back focus was he asked me if i was a camera or if i was a camera operator and the director asked me for like a slow push what that meant um he asked if I knew anything about audio lighting switchboards. I don't really. Very basic, basic stuff. Um, and then he also asked, I asked um, like how many hours is this job? Because the first lady told me you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed 32 hours a week to work there. And I was like, to myself, I was like, that's not a lot of hours. I need to work more than that. And he said, like, like they work their stage techs a lot. And you're definitely working over 40 hour a week weeks, which I just think that's fine with me. So he didn't really have many technical questions to ask me because you know like audio and lighting I don't know it's not my strongest point but I made sure to tell him like you know whatever I'd be willing I really really want to learn all this stuff like I'd be willing to learn and be trained in this and so um that was the end of that he said that in, within the next week and a half I would get a phone call from a person tell me if I got the job or not and they'd give me a job offer so looking back on this I did not know a lot of the technical questions that they asked me I definitely would have looked 
more up like when I was studying for this I would have looked more um, about the parts of the stage like they asked me about like the proscenium arch and stage rails and all that I didn't I didn't study any of that I studied more technical like lighting um, power and all of that stuff so I kind of wasn't really feeling that confident with this in interview process and I honestly did not think I was gonna get the job the only thing I had going for me was they seemed like they needed a lot of help and they were hiring a lot of stage techs but also like me living in Massachusetts is kind of um, I think people living who are already living in Florida would have had a better chance of getting a job than me because they'd have to wait longer for me to start and get down there and everything. So exactly a week later that I had the last interview, I got an email, it was an automated email saying, um, you're not, basically you're not qualified for this job, we're looking for more people, we're looking for people that are more qualified and I, you know, I figured, like it wasn't really a shock to me. Um, I was kind of a little relieved because I applied for this job not ever thinking I would actually get an interview and I'm so like happy that they even wanted to interview me I was just kind of like oh this this looks fun this is in my field that I went to school for like, I'll apply and so like so the interview process took it was about three weeks from the first one to like finding out I didn't get it and it was a lot of pressure I was always having to start looking for apartments I don't know anyone in Florida so it would have been me just there by myself um you know I was getting I was kind of like freaking myself out I was kind of getting little scared and so I'm kind of glad I don't think I'm ready to make that big of a move right now I just graduated college in December um, I've only been working at my first job for about eight months now so I definitely want to try moving to a different state maybe California in the future but right now I don't think I was ready for that so I hope this video helps people that are interviewing with Disney um, for whatever job leave a comment below letting me know if you have ever applied for a job for Disney whether you got the job or not and if this interview process was pretty similar to yours.